Okay, hello, I'm Anna Zett. I'm from the USA, from Ohio, and I've been working in Korea for 15 months, and I teach at an elementary school. Hey, hi, my name is Martin, and I've been here at the same time as Anna Zett, 15 months, and for my first year, I've been teaching in high school, and this year, I started with middle school. Hey. Hi, my name is Abo, I'm from South Africa, and I teach at a girls' middle school, and I've been here about eight months. Mm, living in Osan, um, it's a pretty, it's a really big city, I'll say, first and foremost. It's really big, and for me, it has its ups and downs. Like, it's not Seoul, but at the same time, you can pretty much find close to everything that you need because it's one of the major cities. But for me, since it's such a big, spread out city, that depending on where you live, you may be closer to the downtown area, so you'll be closer to like bigger restaurants and that sort of thing. Um, but my area is sort of on the outskirts, so it's not in the central part of the city. So getting on the bus and going downtown takes about 45 minutes, so I have to like really plan my time well, like when I'm gonna go, what time I should leave my house. And then because even though it's a major city, it's the only one in South Korea that doesn't have a subway. So to me, that takes a lot of adjustment because the buses are very, you know, accessible. But sometimes I really wish there was a subway to kind of like get around a little bit faster and a subway would reach, you know, parts of the city all over and connect you a lot quicker. So that takes a lot of adjustment. But it's a really big city and it's so spread out for all of us.